In the bad old days, computers were huge and prohibitively expensive. There was no friendly user interface, and all data had to be fed in and read out on paper. Such computers were steadily replaced by smaller machines which allowed users to input directly into the computer using a keyboard. Pioneering work done at Xerox in the 1970s led to the development of the Graphical User Interface, or GUI, a system which for the first time let novice users easily control a computer. Borrowed heavily by Apple in their Macintosh computers, the GUI remains today the primary way that we use computers, although it is being changed constantly by the increasing use of touch. WIMP is a useful mnemonic for remembering the main items that go into a GUI interface. Windows, icons, menus, and pointers. Windows are containers that allow us to easily see what is going on inside a single program. They allow us to have multiple programs running at the same time and to move these around or hide them as we need. Icons provide us a way to visualize files and folders as well as applications. We can see these laid out in a variety of ways and we can manipulate them by dragging and dropping and double clicking on them. Menus allow us to hide many options under a single title and expose them as a drop-down. These can be used as context menus to show things specific to a particular place. And finally, a pointer controlled by a mouse or a trackpad allows us to manipulate all of these elements as if we were holding them in our hands. Understanding these fundamentals of how a graphical user interface works is really important to getting the most out of your computer. <laughs>